Toto Wolf has made his feelings known about Mick Schumacher and his time at Haas, more specifically taking aim at Gunter Steiner. I kind of touched on this in a video I made about Nico Hülkenberg, but I didn't go too deep into it. And I think it is really sort of interesting and actually quite important and sort of a example of a team principal sort of backing one of their drivers and standing up for one of their own. Now, Mick Schumacher was a very hyped young man. Of course he was. A very solid junior career, which was very promising. He is the son of arguably the greatest F1 driver to ever step foot into a car. Of course, the weight of having the Schumacher name on your shoulders would have been tremendous. It's not the same pressure that other junior drivers get. When you have the last name Schumacher, of course, the expectations naturally are going to be high. You're the son of a legend. You're, you're the next generation of Schumacher. And the reason this was so exciting was because he was a champion in the junior formulas. He was part of the Ferrari Driver Academy, a relationship which is no longer together. Mick has severed ties with Ferrari since, but a lot of people pictured a Schumacher being in a Ferrari again. Obviously, the idea of that is simply incredible. It would have been awesome and great. The son of Ferrari's greatest ever driver driving for that team. I mean, the story of it would have been almost fairy tale like if you ask me. So people already had this sort of preconceived idea of what Mick Schumacher could have or would have become in Formula One. Now, unfortunately, it didn't work out for Mick, and many Mick Schumacher fans, obviously, very disappointed, myself included. I mean, I was very excited for Mick's time in Formula One, and it didn't go well with Haas, of course. We saw him crash, make some mistakes, which really did cost Haas a lot of money. Now, we have seen since then how much money these crashes did cost Haas. And in the era of the cost cap, you do sort of get an idea or an understanding about where Haas are coming from in terms of, hey, we can't afford this. We need some consistency. We need some stabilization in this team. We just can't afford any accidents. But the question of what if Mick had his father Michael by his side? Now, of course, this would have been a huge help. Of course it would have been. You have a mentor who is not only your father, but a man who simply, in my opinion, changed the trajectory of Formula One, really changed a lot of people's ideas about what Formula One was. He became a household name. He was known universally by pretty much everybody. I think in my opinion, Michael Schumacher is the biggest F1 name of all time. Now we've seen two people actually talk about this and talk about Haas's treatment of Mick and how it would have been different with Michael by his side at the track. First being Ralph Schumacher. Michael Schumacher's brother. Now, Ralph said the following, I believe, and this bothers me the most, if my brother had been there, Gunter Steiner would have behaved differently. I just think Michael's presence would have been enough. But again, everyone does what they want. And more recently, within the last few weeks, Toto Wolf had this to say about Mick Schumacher and Haas. If Michael had accompanied his son during the two Haas years, Steiner would not have dared to treat Mick like that. Now, Toto Wolf with a very strong, I think, statement on the whole situation. I think Toto Wolf is very much one of those guys in the paddock that really does say it how it is. And not only that, there's a lot of things that I can really appreciate about Toto Wolf, especially how he sort of treats his drivers and also the junior drivers. I think he makes every effort to give them as much experience as he possibly can and as much of a good run as possible. You know what I mean? Trying to get them into the sport somehow, give them the experience, give them a drive if possible as well. Find a team that can get them in a Formula One car. We've seen George Russell, how he was at Williams, and we know George Russell, when he was actually younger, pitched to Toto Wolff why he should be a Mercedes driver. And of course, Toto Wolff was very impressed with George Russell and how he conducted himself. And everyone knew years prior to him joining Mercedes that he was next in line. He was going to be that next driver next to Lewis Hamilton. And of course, it happened in 2022. We saw George Russell join Mercedes. Toto has already actually confirmed that if for any reason at all, Lewis Hamilton 
or George Russell are unable to race. For example, like Sakia in 2020, where Lewis Hamilton was down with COVID, George Russell stepped in, who was still at Williams at the time. Now, if something similar to this were to happen again, Toto Wolff has already been on the record and said, look, if anything like that happens, Mick Schumacher is driving that car. He will partake in the race if we need him or the weekend, whatever. Now you might say, well, obviously Mick Schumacher is the reserve driver, but when Lewis Hamilton had COVID in 2020 and George Russell stepped in, Toto didn't go with his reserve driver at the time, which was Stoffel Van Dorn. So he is pretty much saying here that if anything is to happen, yes, Mick will be the guy in the car. And I think Toto Wolff has really shown how much respect he has not only for Mick Schumacher, but the Schumacher family. I think that he really does believe in Mick's ability, which is quite refreshing because I really don't want to see him finished with Formula One anytime soon. I think Mick deserves, you know, another shot. I think he still hasn't properly proven himself and I want to see if he can. I really do want to see that. Look, if he gets back into Formula One and he is simply just not that driver and he isn't that guy, look, I'll put my hands up and I will admit I'm wrong, but I'm not fully convinced. I still think there is a lot there. We have seen glimmers of such strong drives and performances that really have stuck with me. For example, Austria, 2022. He just seemed to be in his zone. It was one of those moments where the car becomes an extension of the driver and they just perform so well. Maybe the best thing for him at the time was to leave Haas. Maybe this could be a blessing in disguise. Out of all the teams on the grid where a young kid could get a lot of good experience and be in a good environment, Mercedes is right up there. Look at the people that they have in that team. Look at what they've won. Look at how successful they are. Look at the two drivers who are full-time in these seats, Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. Lewis Hamilton, seven-time world champion. He holds the record for the most wins, most pole positions. He is arguably as well. He is one of the greatest of all time. He is probably the greatest of all time. Him and Michael, you know, the debate is between those two. You know, I have huge respect for Lewis Hamilton as a Schumacher fan. I think that, you know, what he brings to the table for even a driver like George Russell is like so priceless. You know, you can't put a price on that. It's just something that, you know, every driver around Lewis gains knowledge, gains great experience. And for Mick to be in that sort of environment with a leader like Toto, who I think is, I think he's a great leader. I know he has faced his criticism. Many will say he inherited Mercedes. He inherited success. So let me know what you think about what Toto and Ralph Schumacher said about Mick Schumacher and Haas. Do you think Gunter Steiner would have treated Mick Schumacher a little bit differently had Michael been there by his side during all of these years at Haas. Do you think it would have been a little bit different? Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and hit subscribe. As always, I truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.